Well, I haven't been work, able to work for the last few days. Um, for various reasons. Um, so, got to get back to this thing because if I can't get back to this thing, this gets a red X. Um, I don't like a painting to go too long and this is really going too long. Your concept goes uh, away. Um, and um, so, I'm going to work in this area right here, open this up a little bit to what's behind and see what happens. In fact, I think I'm going to do it with a flat brush. Yeah, let's see if that'll do it. Sun has been giving me a little bit of a problem. Um, so, yeah, some of this is going to start to dry on us. It's, um, I'm going to have to do something to uh, uh, shield the um, takes a little bit to get going in the morning. Now let's just see if this will have any effect on anything. A little more pink. A lot more pink actually. And lavender. A little white. Let's see if that does it. Pretty close. So, I'm going to take this out. Um, I only can paint for about an hour today or this morning. I don't know what will happen this afternoon. Um, the, um, the sun is not uh, helping me at all. But I decided I want to open up this area. And it requires a little more red, I think, to match up with this over here. See, I need to come to this one. Yeah, so that's the color. All right, there we go. And so this is going to set up that way back distant tree line. make it look like trees sort of these are like following shapes and uh, one of the places that I really need to do it is right through here yeah that's a good match and cut in like this just to give it some some variation I'll see if that helped. I think it did. Made it more interesting in, in any event. Uh, let's do a little more pink. So it kind of goes along that way. Let's just open it up a wee bit there. So we get kind of a random deal there. All right, now, assuming that that's kind of right. I've isolated that grouping, uh, kind of centered it up, but uh, I'll change that uh, at some point here. So I'm going to define this one a little bit over here. I'm going to define this, just I'm gonna drop this horizon down so it's kind of matching up there and kind of a little bit interesting. All right. Okay, that was one of the things I wanted to do. I think that works. And then I think I'm going to go into this blue. Probably the wrong color I just did there. 
one of the problems I'm used to painting under LED lights and it is a problem um, because right now I'm painting under really sublight conditions it might not look like it on the um, on this but uh, that is the case open that up a bit down through there and see what happens. Kind of like that. Um, and I think it could happen. And let's go ahead and just put it right in now. Let's just play that up. I'll get it a little bit. I get these things kind of lined up. Just break it up a bit. All right, let's see what that looks like. Okay. I think I'm just gonna pop it right there a bit. got water coming through here. I'm just going to use this for drawing purposes. Through there and there. It's really going to carry a lot of that. So the field, um, well, can't really go on this so much as maybe I can go on the rendering or the uh, inspiration painting. So I'm going to put some colors in that I think will happen down here. And I want it to hit across like this. And the sun comes out like this. There's a I tried this the other day and it didn't really work all that well, but I can see it might today. There we go. Pow. Uh, starting to create a light thing going through here. All right. I guess I'm in the mood to paint. Yeah, careful, Chuck. Not so much down there. Let's just break that up a bit. What a fuzzy looking. underneath, right at this point, very often, there's that subtle light that comes across. I think that might work. Just might work. I don't know what that's about, but I'm going to put it in there at this point. All right, back down to this. And let's see. there. Let's 
sort of okay. Not exactly though. That's no good. But I think that might be. like that. Breaking up edges, it does help. knife edge on it and so that kind of helps. I'm not sure that works either. I do like that though. Which means I might like it right here too. I'm fishing around, as you can see. Um, and the reason is that um, there's no real reference on this um, that I can use. I just have to go back on what I remember. days out. Take a little of this. There is a magic to this. There's a place to stop. it has to read it such a distance to be effective and um, discovered about this stuff is that eventually it comes around to your way of thinking.
is that. Okay. Let's take it out. Sometimes take it out. straight alizarin crimson. Might be the wrong brush for this particular thing. And second time trying this, maybe third, on this painting. about it. But it's all condensed there into one spot and it's got to move out from that point and make some sense from a design and balance storm standpoint. So this is kind of one way of doing it. I don't normally do it this way, but it's working, so I'm not going to argue with it too much. I'm not going to argue with it too much. However you can get to it. And that same deal happens right there. So it can be the ability to paint over some of this when it uh, sets up a bit. actually a lot of pink in this, but the counter to it is the blues, the pale pastels. Alright, 
do we think we did something there? Hard to say, Chuck. Hard to say. But I do like some of it. Alright, I might have hit something on this. So now I'm going to take the red. Make some suggestions of weeds and overgrowth and all of that because of what I've got there works and I'm um, kind of got some parts of it in that might might work. Take a little bit over this way. We just want to spread the the movement even subtly, but we want to do it. I want to do it. Say we Okay, well that changed it. <laughs> All paintings kind of get a life of their own at some point. And, um, hopefully this will too. Okay, that doesn't look so bad. I need to look at this a bit. if I could uh, finish this today. Well, I could if the... Uh, I want to bring this out a bit. shape than what I had. All right, that looks all right. Well, I've been getting a lot of um, even light in this thing from the camera so I think I'm gonna have to uh, look into another camera now I'm putting branches in a little darker uh, just to see there was a trunk right there bring on out and then stuff will come off of that like that some will get covered up but not much and I'll pull this out from behind that's that tree right there and a little more trunk on it kind of come up through we'll kind of lose that Maybe there as well. Maybe 
see some marks this way for the stuff below. Just noise, if you will. Another darker one there. it in the reference and everything but actually getting it done it's kind of hard sometimes it's pretty wrong color but pretty yeah, it's just it's hard to say all right that well, you know, I don't mind that blue. There's a lot of blue in there, actually. From before. Maybe that's not a bad color. So it's a close-up color that you only really see is when it's... Uh, you're right up on it. Otherwise, you might not see it. Going to deep red, uh, alizarin. Yeah, that's better. I just need to create some shadows back there in depth. And the alizarin and blue mix uh, are doing that very well for me. And let's just get a little bit going that way. It's more about shapes, really it is. Do you get a hold of those rhythms and just kind of follow them around? Um, it really does give you a pretty good blueprint to these things. Okay, well, the sun would pop through there and it would be uh, pretty red. So I'll get some more red. I say red. I'm pretty basic when I refer to colors. It's red, it's pink, it's blue. Um, but my palette is always laid out the same way regardless. And sometimes it's just a matter of I want dark. Period. I don't care how I get it. All right, so that's kind of helped. Don't know what it looks like. Take forever to dry because I'm just using the stuff pure. I'm not doing anything beyond that. And shadows. Closing up some more of it, just a little bit. The highlights become brighter when I do a lot of this. And uh, let's go put some dark down there, get rid of uh, some paint. Clean my brush that way. That's one way of doing it. All right. I'm going to take pure alizarin crimson and put it in there. I'll take a look back and see if I getting anything out of this that I truly like. I don't like it to be spotty. Take some blue, which is ultramarine blue, and darken up some of this. Still going in the same basic direction of the uh, tree branches. 
leaves of this particular tree. Impressionism. And I'm just taking the red down this edge and up, 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 and then bring it in. And I'll take some lighter on that, just lighten that up a bit. Yesterday for quite a while, in fact. Um, so what I think I'll do is I'll just take that off and charge it. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. <coughs> um, kind of put a little bit of something right there. brushes I think. I've got about another hour I can paint. So I just might do that. Let's see what I get here. Put a bunch of colors together. Get some paint in the brush. And I know we have uh, some land coming through here. Um, just take a little on a horse. I've got some land coming through there like that. These are obviously reflections. Um, there's a little land through here. I've got a horse and baby there. Um, I don't want to have too many horizontal movements through this thing, so I think what I will do Take a little bit of lavender, which is Provence uh, violet, bluish, I guess. And a little bit of Juan Brilliant, or Naples. A little blue. Well, let's just see what we got here. Don't think this is gonna, this will just get it wet, I guess. See if it works. So I want to darken that. Ah, I left the news on. Damn. Highly recommend everybody turn the news off. I need to get some punctuation within all of this, so I'm going to take some purple. I got a green there. I don't know, I guess it's a green. I'm going to put some red in it, warm it up. Because the sun is hitting it, I just want it darker than what this is. And um, I 
could have water through this area right here. Um, on the reference, in fact, it's there is a one of them anyway. Uh, there is some of that, and uh, this is still not dark enough by any means. So let's get it dark. Stop messing around. There we go. That's better. shadow right through here at the shoreline and I'm just going to use anything and everything dark now get something here for sure and over here it'll be very dark so I'm going to take some dioxin purple into this right there. It's amazing how you can throw in a color and it pulls out other colors that you have forgotten you even used. And I should have never let the iPhone drop or uh, battery run out of because I've got a, a battery pack I could have just put on the thing. But alright, that's kind of something anyway. Exactly what I don't know. Coming to the edge. It's gonna be a little bit jaggedy. That'll be dark, I know. So I think I'll make it. Might as well make it dark. Don't fool around with it much. there. Jacket that up a bit. Broken edges and moving paint to do whatever. And 
do some stuff for balance. And I'm just going to put it in that way. They could be horses. Don't know exactly what they're going to be yet. Leaves 
all of the red. It's purple, blue on the shadow side. And then it goes down. And I'm going to come up. Go like that. Same there. Alright, I like that. I can see how that could work. But not up too high, just low. or not issue, but thing that we could do there. Alright, let's play that a little bit. Sun's like that, shadow can go that way. It'll be open there. Alright, let's go take a look at this. And reset the palette. Okay. This will be the last clip for for today, anyway. Or got some errands to run and uh, clean the palette a bit, and think I'm gonna create some water areas. I kind of see them in the back, right through there, and um, maybe right in there. I'll just take some of this stuff off, kind of place them in there and see what happens. Um, and there'll be a pink, I guess. Persian rose with white and a little French ultramarine blue. And let's see. I'm just going to put it right in there. Make that mark. I'll expand it as I go or not. Kind of like that. And I could, I did talk about doing that a little bit back into here, and I may, but I think it'll come a little later. And I just want to kind of break that up a little bit at the beginning. I think I'll take a palette knife and do that. That's better. There we go. Clean it off. Oops. Well, that's okay. See, that, that pink could be the water, or the beginning of the water, and then water can come through like so. Uh, you know, as it goes through on the distance. But I'll just kind of play this by ear. Okay. And a little more of this. Maybe a little of the blue. Yeah, let's just see. Okay, that's better. And this is the beginning of putting the water in. And I'll just break it up a little bit. Have a better feel about it. And I can put it wherever I need it at some point. Like through there. And I'm just going to run through this because that's water there, okay? And this will get broken up by it. There we go. Beginning. Take that there. A little more white. A little more pink. A little more blue. And a little more white. A little bit of that. A little more blue. A little more blue. 
little stuff. through I'm gonna run this through like that you see and then back maybe this way so just to start to break this up a bit through there so you get that back and forth moving across the water and a little more white a little more pink more pink this time. Little stuff. We'll break that up a little bit like that. And I think that works rather well. out and let's see I want that to go through here that'll be a good brush for this I think I don't know if I put green out or not but it starts to work this, a little of that. Well, let's just see how that works. Okay. And we'll go for a little more even. And it's, yeah, it's better. like this. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. And then my baby's there. And I'm just going to put this red in there. And a little bit of cadmium. I don't want it dirty, actually at this point. I think we'll take 
French ultramarine blue. And more of this white. shelf on this land foundation like right there so we just start doing it so I'm taking all the old stuff and doing that with that mixing it in wet, wet. really blue blue at some point.
Yeah, let's go ahead and put some bread in there. I go fool around too much about this. Just get it in there. I like that. Not sure it'll stay, but I like it. And then I'm going to take this. Just make a move in there. See what happens. I know it's there. I may cover it up, but initially I think I'll have it. A little bit of red in there. Just following the light down. And this goes like that, a little bit like that. Take it from there. Oh, yes. Oh, but that didn't hurt, did it? Like that, go through there like that. Kind of like that. And I think I'm just going to go out with it. It might be alright. And... I have no idea whether this will stay or not. Exactly where I would have put it, but... More. Give it a glow and eventually pop it or do something with it. And down this way. Alright. And I think. I still can. Make it interesting. Noise, as I call it. Background noise as much as anything.